Hey guys, what's up? This is Jake from Jump Gen, and I'm finally back to do another video. Uh, so with Jump Gen, what we do is we help coders get better and practice their interview skills. And part of what I'm doing with that is I'm taking you through like a hundred standard questions that you're likely to get when you go for a front end developer or web developer position. So we made it to the CSS level and uh, we're going to jump right into it. Today's question is basically describe Z index uh, and the stacking context. So if you're getting into a pretty in-depth interview and they're starting to like probe what you know, you might get this question. Uh, and this is just going to give you a little bit of a, an idea about how to answer it. So what is Z index? By the way, I'm from Australia, so we say Z. Uh, Americans and people from around the world, you might say Z. Uh, you, might, you probably know it as Z index, but anyway, I'm going to stick with Z. So what is, uh, what is Z index? Z index in the stacking context essentially is a way to describe um, how elements on the page uh, are related to each other in terms of depth. So if I'm the viewer and I'm looking at the screen, we can call that actually the Z index. If you think of an axis, you have the X and the Y, and then the Z is the, the third dimensional uh, axis, basically. And this is what the Z index controls, the, the layer of elements on the page. So that's, that's one of the answers. We can go in a little bit more in depth. Um, I put together a super basic code pen here and what we're looking at is a couple of boxes inside a container. I made that container gray just so it kind of differentiates everything. So we've got essentially two boxes, um, a, a green one and a blue one. What we see though at the moment is just the, the blue box. Now this is because I positioned the boxes absolutely. Um, this is another key point. To, to just mention if you get this question, is that Z index affects elements that have a position. So here uh, it's position absolute, you might have relative, you might have fixed. Um, the default is static, uh, so we're not talking about static elements, anything that has a position. And since they're both absolute, they're both occupying the same position, um, you see the one that comes lower. So like kind of the, the context, the local context, which is inside this container, it's just basically saying, if I have two equal elements and I'm deciding which one to put in front of the other, the default kind of rule is that the one that comes lower in the markup is the one that will be displayed. So that's why the blue one is being displayed first. If I move that up, so now we're gonna have the green one is actually displayed first. Uh, which it also has a little, uh, little red-headed steps out there, um, you'll see now the green element is being shown. And that's because it's coming lower down. So this is where Z index comes into play. Let's put the, the blue guy back down the bottom there. Uh, and let's, let's give um, the green an, an index, a Z index of 10. Now, Z index, this is another little aside. Z index can take anywhere from like minus values to uh, positive values, um, even into the thousands, actually. Uh, a little rule of thumb is to give Z indexes, I usually do them in um, blocks of 10, because you always want to have the ability to slot in another element uh, in between. So if I have like a Z index of one and another element that's Z index two, it only takes whole numbers. So I can't slide in anything in there if I wanted to. Whereas if I give this a 10, then I might at some point slide in a nine or a five or something like that uh, at another point. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna give that a Z index of 10. And what this is gonna do is this is gonna move the green element closer to the user. It's gonna move it forward. So, voila. So this means that the Z index is now controlling the depth. Now I wanna sh uh, show you something else, and this is related to the, the stacking context. Um, I've given the, the green box, like a little internal red box. And if you look down here, I've given this red box uh, a Z index of 1000 which is pretty high. 
Uh, and you might wonder, well, when the blue one is on top, let's say I give the blue now a, a Z index of 10. So now they're basically, they're both 10, which means the one that comes lower down is given preference. So the blue one's back on top. And you might say, well, why can't we see the red box? Because that has a Z index of 1,000. It should be shown first. Well, that's because the, the context, the stacking context of, of that local environment means that um, the Z index of the parent is the one that comes into play. So even though the, the child there, that red kid, uh, has a Z index of 1,000, that's only going to be relative to other uh, children elements within that green box and it doesn't move basically outside of that zone of the green box. So that's why we don't see the red one. Uh, yeah, so basically that was the question is, describe Z index um, and how the stacking context is formed. Um, you can form the context basically through the flow of the document and then you can use Z index or Z index uh, to control the depth of elements Keeping in mind a couple of things. One, that the element has to be positioned somehow. And also keeping in mind that the Z index is related to the context. So if I give something a really high Z index, but it's inside an element, it's only relative to that element. That's why we can't see the red box there. Okay, uh, first video in a while. Uh, I'm a little rusty to be honest, but hopefully that gave you some idea about Z index and uh, might make you feel a little more comfortable when you're going for an interview. If you have any questions, any comments, uh, if I've made some ridiculous mistake and you think I'm an idiot, then please share. Uh, I would love to hear it. And if you like the videos, I'm gonna, I always promise I'll make more, but I swear to God, I'm gonna make more. Um, yeah, subscribe and Good luck with your web developing career. See you next time. Bye.